Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com, as well as the Arkeltex Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Tuesday morning forecast update. It has been a stormy night in uh, portions of Red River, as well as McCurtain County, as we've had just some relentless thunderstorm activity there for the past few hours. Now, we did have a tornado watch that expired at 4 a.m. I'm doing this recording here just after 4.30, so it looks like the threat of severe weather is really winding down for these locations, but you can still see there are some impactful storms here so i can't rule out maybe seeing a little bit of hail this morning north of i-30 i think the tornado threat is extremely low for us and we should begin to see this activity kind of taper off a bit as we continue through the morning but if you're north of i-30 there will be some pockets of heavy rain radar estimating good one to two inches of rain here of some spots in mccurtain county notice those storms uh, do extend back towards the dallas area so uh, i think in a few of those may hold together into red river and mccurtain county a little bit later this morning at as well and then we'll see that threat for severe weather kind of shift to the east today but if you're in Arkansas Louisiana there is a threat of maybe seeing a isolated severe storm this afternoon I'll get to that in just a moment but uh, just unseasonably warm right now mid 70s for Shreveport that's something we typically see in the summer months so it's just uh, an unusually warm and humid morning for us that warm air humid air is what's contributing to some of that thunderstorm development and the uh, south breeze ramping up ahead of our cold front here about 10 to 15 miles per hour it is going to be another windy day for us and uh, high temperatures are kind of tricky we know there's a cold front coming in north of i-30 so that's 67 in idabel and 71 in dequeen probably occurs uh this morning and these afternoon temperatures here will be in the 50s so if you're in mount pleasant idabel dequeen some of the surrounding areas like nashville as well as dirks uh, and even over towards the hope area i think uh, by this afternoon your temperatures will be in the 50s so even though you don't need the jacket this morning keep it with you today Texarkana, you'll drop into the 60s this afternoon in Shreveport. We won't feel that temperature drop until later on uh, tonight as well as tomorrow. That cooler air eventually coming for everybody as we move through the day tomorrow. So what will happen today? Again, we'll have a chance to warm up ahead of this cold front. So these are the storms that fired up yesterday and continue to kind of trek through the region this morning. But as the uh, heat and humidity kind of build today and that cold front makes its way in, we're expecting another line of uh, thunderstorms to develop. You get I-49 right here from uh, Texarkana to Shreveport. Most of the storms today should uh, fire up early this afternoon close to the I-49 corridor and then move off to the east. So I would say that high wind will be the main threat for us, but can't rule out maybe some hail as well as an isolated tornado, but I, I do think wind would be the overriding threat for us with any of those storms that manage to get going. And uh, look at your Robin Stoya future cast. So it keeps the rain uh, kind of dissipating through the morning. And these would be the uh, pockets and maybe some showers and storms this afternoon. You can see these little tiny cells popping up. So future cast keeps the strongest storms well off to the east of us uh, and again there is the potential that those storms could be closer to us which is why we are included in that severe weather outlook if we did see any severe weather today it would be rather isolated we don't expect anything to be uh, too widespread today and uh, the front will kind of stall across the Arkeltex tomorrow so we're looking at uh, the continuation some of these showers and storms into your Wednesday as well as your Thursday but today would probably be the final day that we have any kind of severe weather threat just due to that cooler air that will take over behind the front. Uh, rainfall potential still showing about half an inch to maybe one inch of rain. I think some higher amounts where those thunderstorms are ongoing this morning. And uh, with that cold front stalling out between I-20 and I-30, we've got a uh, temperature forecast headache here for the next two days or so as tonight. Uh, you can see the lows down to 37 in Idabel, 44 in Texarkana, 52 in Shreveport, and then highs tomorrow, uh, 40s and 50s for the most part. But notice there is some leftover warm air here south of I-20. So we can see a few thunderstorms tomorrow south of I-20, and that cold air uh, really starts to take over once we get into Thursday and Friday. So look at your seven day forecast. Again, uh, don't expect we'll see any severe weather Wednesday or Thursday, but the rain will keep going. Thursday night into Friday, we do get some cool dry air to take over. So Friday, a chilly day, but we should dry out uh, through the morning and afternoon. And then Saturday, we've got another weather disturbance coming in. This one will uh, bring some rain during the day on Saturday, kind of a cold rain 
These temperatures will likely be in the 40s, and I do think there's a little window here, maybe Saturday night if the rain's still here as the temperatures drop to near freezing on Sunday mornings, either Saturday night or early Sunday morning. We could see some freezing rain, maybe a few snow showers in the northern Arkletex, but I would expect very few impacts with that, but we'll continue to keep you updated in some better weather arriving on Sunday. Kind of a cool wrap-up to the weekend, but we should have highs in the mid-50s with uh, dry weather on Sunday.